Hi, I'm Donna Decker. I summited Mount Everest along with the six other tallest mountains on the seven summits, and I am Generation UCAN. As an athlete, I know my body really well, and I have had that feeling before when I'm in the middle of a competition or a training session and I can feel my blood sugar levels drop. That is the worst feeling um, because then you know you're about to run out of energy, you're feeling like you're about to bonk, and there's not going to be any place to go after that. But with my Generation U can I felt like it leveled me out. And I practiced with it, obviously, before I went to Everest. I took it out to Utah when I was training. I, I drank it in a lot of different environments, a lot of different settings, and a lot of different training, just to see how my body would respond to it. And on some of the mountains, like when I went to Switzerland, I, I took it there with me to see how I would do. And I had no gastro problems whatsoever. And that was just a relief. There's a lot of gastro problems. It's the number one problem on Everest. Is At base camp, it's not too bad. But as you go higher on the mountain, your body is less able to adapt to the food intake, and especially at Camp 4, you have no appetite, but you know you gotta eat, because you gotta fuel your body somehow, because it's gonna burn about 15,000 calories. They say on the summit you burn about 15,000 calories. So we were trying to eat about 10,000 calories a day. How do you eat 10,000 calories? And what I liked is it kind of satisfied that craving for wanting to eat, because um, I couldn't always eat. It wasn't like I felt like I was filling myself with calories for nothing. I knew I was gaining, you know, it was going to help my performance, my athletic performance. From the time I reached base camp, for basically, you know, seven weeks, I would drink seven liters of water a day. Out of that, four of those were my UCAN product that I, I would mix. From the time I left South Cole, Camp 4, to the summit and back down, I only drank my UCAN product. That is it. Nothing else. It gave me the nutrition I needed to at least still give me the energy to get to the summit and back down. I can honestly say with all sincerity, drinking my UCAM was a big factor in giving me that extra push. When I watched climbers getting sick, I watched climbers not being able to keep food down. The second part, which to me was just as important as the first, is when you're that high up on a mountain and you're starting to feel everything's caving in on you and the pressure and just the stress of being that high up and and you don't know if you're gonna be able to do this. You, you can't, you know, it's 30 below and for all you know you're in 15, 20 mile an hour winds. It could be 60 below with all of that. You can't pull out a picture of your family to, you know, to refuel you, energize you. I would pull out my UCAM product because when I would drink it, it felt like home.